Hello. Uh, hello, universe. Welcome. Um, welcome to our Sabine deck tech uh, slash ha we're going to play some stuff into it. Yeah, like is Gauntlet. Uh, yeah. Is the Sabine Menace. Yeah. How do we deal with it, right? Right. So we, um, uh, we'll start off by just kind of doing like a quick catch up from uh, the last video that we did a few days back. Uh, we got some rules wrong. We wanted to at least come out and say that initially. We were getting accused of all kinds of stuff <laughs> in the YouTube comments. Uh, we're getting, we're getting, we're, we've, people have said that we're getting online to tell lies, um, which now, is not exactly what we're going Sometimes for. we do lie. So we, uh, we made, we made some mistakes. There's a couple, uh, and actually I'll, I'll recap a couple of rules that I've learned in the last couple of days. Okay. Uh, one thing is like uniqueness. You can have like the leader Luke and the unit Luke and play at the same time. Yep, and that's which, a little different than a lot of other fantasy flight card games. Which I think, yeah, um, I don't know that we ran into a situation where we like tried to do that. Not last, but week, I think we right? might have talked about it a little I, bit. I, I had I had an opponent that I was playing against. We were playing some casual games the other day, and then he had like the Boba Fett unit in play. And he put Boba Fett leader in play. I was like, you got to choose one of those to kill. And he's uh, like, I don't think I do. Everybody was playing it the other way the other night. And I was like, all those people are idiots. <laughs> no, I'm the, the idiot. idiot. I'm the idiot. Um, What's up, y'all? I even read, I went and read the, I like paused the game, went and read the comprehensive rules and just skipped over the example they gave. I read the rules and I was like, well, this says that this is the unique name. You can only have one unique of this in play. So unique but unique name it's, includes the title. It includes the subtitle, it, and the subtitle differentiates the copies. So of when they prevent uh, Boba Fett that costs so. four in the future, you'll be playing Boba Fett's on curve. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so you can play all Boba Fett. Uh, there's going to be a future. There'll be like a one drop Boba Fett that's like Kid Boba Fett from Attack of the Clones, uh -huh. right? But anyway, it th doesn't matter. There's going to be uh, someday you'll play against the the biggest Boba Fett fanboy, and they'll <laughs> and they'll just play every Boba Fett on curve. And probably um, lose the game. Yeah. <laughs> um, and before you, right before you hit them in the jetpack and knock them into the Sarlacc pit. So now uh, another rule that that we um, learned is that your leader coming into play is an action. You are not playing your leader. You are take being taking the epic action to deploy the leader to the battlefield. Um, I don't know if I used Wolf Yularen. Colonel Yularen last week. I don't think you did. I don't think it was, um, think it was the, the, the green. So there's a there's a green unit two drop um, Yularen who uh, says when another when you play a green unit, heal your base for one. I cheated a couple people in my local draft by deploying Tarkin mm, while Yularen was on the table and gaining one. Now I don't think it ultimately mattered in those games, but uh, you're not playing your leader, right? You're just kind of putting the leader into play on the battlefield, right? Um, which also, we, I, I, I think I like s s said um, very close to the other video um, uh, where I think you can regional govern people's leaders. Yeah. I don't think I'm wrong. I think you can regional govern the leaders. It just doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. They can still just deploy their leader, yeah, right? Right. Um, but uh, you can name, it says name a card, it right? Is a card. And, and the leaders are cards. Yeah. But so technically I wasn't wrong, uh, but <laughs> also technically I wasn't right. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> there you go. All right. Was, uh, uh, was the gameplay that caused you to dive into Star Wars or did you hop into Star Wars because you're big Star Wars fans? The gameplay. The gameplay. I mean, um, we're, we're obviously Star Wars fans. We're jaded Star Wars fans. Oh, though. yeah. Yeah, we're we're ready yeah, to be we, Star Wars haters. If you've watched our stream long enough, you'll you'll hear us lament the Star Wars that was. Yeah, we're we're you know elder millennial nerds, so you know yeah. we liked Star Wars before it was cool to like Star yeah. Wars, right? <laughs> um, yeah, Justin played a yeah. significant amount of Destiny. I we played, played every Star Wars card. Yeah, game. I we, played a lot of have. I played a lot of the LCG, and uh, we've got card game necromancy for the uh, for the other. Uh, Star Wars card games, so and I kinda... I do think this is very potentially the best Star Wars card game. And I mean, yeah. you might argue that Star Wars, uh, the Decipher Star Wars, is yeah. Best. So the Decipher, and a lot of, a lot of you know, uh, true Star Wars fans really like that game. Because yeah, you can do a lot of Star Warsy stuff in that game. Yeah, I so I, I there's a certain charm to the Star Wars uh, Decipher card game that very few other games could ever match, and that's because it was developed in the wild west of card games the 90s Ga 95 game you know? design has come a long way since then yeah um this game feels like it's extremely well designed 
but that does mean all those quirky little flaws and like blemishes have been completely sanded off of whatever is here right yeah. now there's still some fun stuff right like uh greedo's subtitle is called slow on the draw right like now obviously that's a nod to one of the most infamous uh star at this point that thing is almost 30 years old i'm just right? waiting for the like, McCl mcclunky card yeah yeah right that's anyway, what I want. so like there's obviously references and stuff like that built into it but those are almost par for the course in any kind of star wars thing uh, these yeah, days right. Yeah. yeah right all right so More than pandering to star wars yes yeah. um so we wanted to get that out of the way oh also uh if you want to leave a youtube comment um, about our verbal clutter. We're live streaming. We don't edit this. We just, once we're done with this, this gets uploaded to YouTube. Yeah, and I mean, that's you that. You can complain about it if you want. Yeah, you can complain, you can complain about it. It's not going to change anything. <laughs> we're going to stream the way we stream. We do appreciate you watching the video yeah. um, because our, our Star Wars stuff has done quite well. Um, and we're, uh, and all the, the, uh, positive comments and stuff like that have been really re-encouraging um yeah, we're, just... we're also trying to take some of the there's some really good feedback on the last video um we are going to try to slow things down a little bit and yes know, talk about our our strategy because a big, right. a big thing is uh we we want to get better at the game and that's part of this and i think we can help other people get better at the, at the game by like explaining our plays a little more showing cards off uh, a little more showing what we're playing so yeah if you if anyone in chat has a question about a card pipe up or an action just uh just ask and we'll uh, we'll certainly stop we'll pause and talk about it a little bit found us on youtube love the content thank you great that's awesome <laughs> love those comments <laughs> yeah appreciate that audio yeah um sure. but yeah uh so yeah justin and i have known each other for quite a long time um while we're not a hundred percent uh of the like mind on every single thing um uh justin and i do flow and get into like a flow state where we're playing games just mm -hmm. jamming through them really really quick um you know i uh we were actually chatting before stream that you could hand a deck to two different players the same deck the same deck you could hand it to two different players in this game and probably get different results just because of the choices that the players would make yeah we played um, a uh, tournament at the store yesterday it was 10 people 10 yeah people and, and which is I gotta. I have to say, um, I have not had any other card game in the last couple of years. The the one exception would be One Piece. Mm -hmm. um, it's an anime card game. It's widely popular. Uh, uh, some of you may even play One Piece. I don't know. Anime card games aren't for me. Star Wars card games are. So, but uh, One Piece is probably like the newest card game that had the most popularity. Yeah, they popped off the fastest. Uh, you the universes too, but yeah yeah lorcana did so lorcana almost died in the crib because, because of, supply. of supply yeah and the difference mm -hmm. is is with this game it's, i i also will chat from the perspective of uh, someone who works in a store works in a local gaming store right so um and some of that will leak through some of these videos but it was very encouraging or very encouraging that when i went to order more star wars we put out a frankly outlandish number and asmodee was like we got you yeah we'll so ship the, it the to supply you. is there so the supply is there people want to play the game they can play the game right so um now uh the sabine deck is probably one of the more expensive decks to build right now i think the any if you're playing like green and uh dark side green that's probably the most um uh the, the green like vader is the most expensive it's like, card yeah you need three vaders yeah right? and then boba fett so like if you play green yellow and you want boba fett and vader in your deck you're like already at four hundred dollars or something yeah, okay um so <laughs> tired of fantasy waiting for a sci-fi uh star wars is kind of both right um you know it's sci-fi we got yes yeah. we got a space right. zone and uh, so that, uh there's fan fan made netrunner stuff so if you want like a like a art like cyberpunk sci-fi there is there is a card game out there for you um so uh that rambling introduction Space wizards yeah um rambling introduction <laughs> is to get to the heart of the matter right now which is the sabine deck this uh and, uh so sabine is the deck that won the I, tournament we played in yesterday right? yes three and, and it is the i got second i think it's the boogeyman of the of the format yeah. right now it's it's like one of the easier decks to build it's very fast it's very consistent yeah i um i like I, I said yesterday, I don't think this deck is a face roll to play, right? No, no. 
because I think you have to make decisions based off of what you're playing against, right? Some units are going to be better. If you've got the choice between deploying a Green Squadron A-Wing turn one versus a uh, Sabine, that is a meaningful choice depending on what your opponent is playing, mm -hmm. right? If your opponent is also playing Sabine and you've got the initiative, then the Green Squadron might possibly be better, right, um, than the Sabine because they could play Battlefield Marine and if and take it out right yeah um and so it, there, there's a lot of like initiative versus uh, even using Sabine's ability when to do it versus seize the initiative I think is very Sometimes meaningful. It's worth taking initiative instead yeah. of just doing damage. Um yeah we did pull two showcases. Uh, um, uh, dev dev. Our last uh, stream had a showcase showdown. Yeah our, our last yeah check out our last video. So. Yeah I got a Kranich Nathan got a troop. Yeah right so. Um, so yeah, it, there's a lot of meaningful decisions to make in the deck. Now this is this is the version that I put together. Uh, this was my take on it. Um, I did not consult any online resources for this version. However, it probably does look like some others that have even posted online because. It, but it, I'm willing to so many choices you can make. Correct. Right? In the base set, there's only so many things to choose from. So if this does look like somebody else's brew out there, uh, this is just what I put together based off of the card list that I saw. Now. Um, the deck that won the tournament yesterday was packing a couple of different choices. I, I believe Dodonna was not in the list. Um, I, I think Dodonna was out. Uh, I think you were, every version of this deck um, is going to play Battlefield Marine, yeah. Green Squadron A-Wing, yep. Sabine, the Alliance X-Wing, the Echo Base Defender, Defender yep. K2. Probably Fleet Commander. Four Cause I Believe In. Yeah. Fighters for Freedom. Yep. Red 3. Yeah. Metal Ceremony. Now. Probably Wing Leader too. So I think. So I, I think Wing Leader is very good. It right? is really good. Wing Leader is like, uh, if you play Alliance X-Wing or Green Squadron A-Wing into Wing Leader, then that space unit is going to go for a jillion damage yeah. in the game. I mean, it's you make really it a fourth, hard. five on turn three. Yeah, it's really hard to deal with. Yeah, so, Rebel Assault as well. Um, yeah. yeah, so we've got uh, Rebel Assaults um, and uh, Heroic Sacrifice. Now, um, so there's probably like, at the end of the day, if you're building Sabine, there's probably like five, four to five slots that you can play around with just for preference, right? Right, right. I think so, yeah. Um, now, uh, I've seen versions that don't play Gorilla Attack Pod. Okay. I think that's a defensible call. Yeah. Um, Gorilla Tech Bod synergizes with Energy Conversion Lab. I don't think any of the Sabine decks are not going to play the Conversion Lab, right? Uh, the, is that are you talking about the Boba Green mid range deck? Is that the one you're talking no, about? We haven't built that yet. Um, one of the guys at the shop had it put together, and he got rolled in the third round by the Sabine deck. Okay. Well. Um, now uh, he was also <laughs> he was playing his version, and he's not a. He's not a. Uh, I would. I would not describe him as an incompetent player. Um, but uh, I. He. Uh, he went out there and traded for like Boba's invaders, and that. And I think it's like. I think it's really easy to get into the single-minded focus phase right now, where you're just like, gotta go get the money cards, okay? Um, and the in the green yellow deck, like the card that's probably going to win you the game most of the time isn't going to be Darth Vader. It's going to be overwhelming barrage. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Like if you if if you've uh, anybody who's played enough constructed right now, um, it, which is hard to do because the game's only been out for like a week and some change. But overwhelming barrage is a card that will win a game on a spot. Right, so, Vader. You got to live to get to turn seven to play Vader. Yeah, you, once you get there, he has a huge impact on the yeah. when he hits. But right, and, and Vader is powerful. Is not, is not free. Overwhelming barrage, on their hand, often is. Kill two dudes plus like seven damage to the base. Mm -hmm. So I win most of the time against Sabine because I return most of the units to Sabine can get much damage. Oh, okay, so with like you play a lot of tempo stuff with the other. Yeah, so villains. you can you can waylay. And I I I if you know your opponent is playing waylay, you would change the way you're gonna put units into play, okay? Yeah, because you don't want, you wouldn't like want to play into waylay with wing leader, for instance, right? Yeah. Now so uh fighters for freedom. Sure, yeah. Um, we because uh, well we want yeah. more content for uh, the next Star Wars stream so maybe right we'll, right we'll right and we are we are uh, no, you can drop links yeah you drop links. um we are going to do our best to credit if we take deck lists and stuff like that we're going to do our best to credit that yeah I did I did um, copy a deck list for today's stream so I'll, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be showing you guys yeah so um once we get there we're gonna we're gonna play a game versus we're gonna use the Sabine deck versus a, a variety of decks we're we're actually talking about changing out a couple of cards right now. 
Um, I've got Rebel Pathfinders and Steadfast Battalions in the mix. So that link does not work. <laughs> oh, it's because it's a. It's probably a. Uh, it's probably a private down. link. Uh, it's probably a private um, uh, deck. I, I have to publish it. Okay. Yeah. Right, because uh, there were a couple people who were trying to show off decks earlier. That was, yeah, that's that's ran into that. So no problem. Uh, all right, so. This so yeah, is this being less. So you're talking about the uh, the inclusions. Yeah, from yeah, yesterday's. yeah. So I think I'm going to take Dodana out because I think Dodana is like a good mid rangey sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, Dodana, I I like Dodana. Um, so uh, one of the, this is for a cause I believe in is one of the most uh, powerful cards here. I'll show that off card cam real quick. Um, reveal the top four cards of your deck for each hero card. Reveal this way. Deal one damage to enemy base. You may discard any of the re uh, revealed cards and put the rest back on top of your deck in your order. So this deck wants to make sure that it, as many cards as possible so in the deck. does four damage. Yeah, or, or you want to get as close to doing four damage as you can. Um, and uh, four damage is substantial. Um, Fighters for Freedom, I think, is the, the, uh, one of the major problems in this deck from a reach perspective. Because this deck gets a lot of free damage in there. I think if this, if this card were either Saboteur or when you play a red card, you deal one damage to a base. I think if this card had either line of text, it would make the cut. It would still be playable, yeah. It would still be playable, it would still make the cut. But I mean, 3-4-3 three, three anyway, it's great stats. Since it's got both, um, this card is uh, pretty cracked in this, in this uh, deck, in my opinion. Um, uh, we've also got red 3, um, red 3, and I'll show off red 3 and K2. Um, red 3 and K2, combined with 4 Akaz I believe in, those are the most expensive rares in the game right now. But they do some damage. They clock in at about 10 bucks a piece. Okay. And honestly, uh, the rest of the deck is fairly cheap to put together. I think Energy Conversion Lab, last I checked, was maybe $5? three bucks. $3. Yeah, three, okay. three to five bucks, somewhere in there. Um, and so the commons, you're look, commons and uncommons, you're looking at like 25 cents a piece max. Heroic Sacrifice is a couple bucks. Um, but honestly, if you didn't play with Heroic Sacrifice, I wouldn't fault you. I don't think it's like an amazing card. If you had other stuff, you could play. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, Red 3 and K2 are um, the uh, uh, heavy hitters in this deck. Red 3 just kind of buffs your whole board. Um, and then K2 is an excellent energy conversion lab target. Uh, my experience, <coughs> where the Sabine deck... Um, where you go from playing an interesting game against the Sabine deck to the Sabine deck kicking your face in is the Energy Conversion Lab turn. Whatever it, they decide to use with it. And it's usually turn four, in okay. my opinion, because what happens is um, uh, you have a unit or two in play and you get to attack with them. Then you Energy Conversion Lab like K2, and then you bring Sabine in as a leader. And then you metal ceremony and buff oh, all of God. them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and when, when that lines up and none of your units die, the, you, are, you are threatening lethal on the yeah, next turn. Yeah, like almost surely death on the next turn. Yeah. Do something. Um, I, a Rebel Assault, I think, is a fine card. The thing with Rebel Assault is that usually it is the last card that you play. Mm -hmm. You play Rebel Assault and the game is over. I took 10 damage from it yesterday and just died. <laughs> okay. It was like turn five and I just died. Yeah. Um, the Sabine deck had initiative and just killed me. Um, so, um, but yeah. So uh, that's a that's a real quick view at it. I'm gonna take out uh, the the three general Dodanas. I'm gonna put in um, steadfast battalions in their place. Throw it up on cam. It's um, gonna be chroma, but the, so we'll keep in mind it. this will be chroma key because this is a green card. No, okay, that's it's a little bad. bit. It's, it's a little bit better. Um, so uh, this is not a hero unit. Um, so this does. Reduce the synergy with for a cause I believe in. Um, however, this card represents a lot of damage. This is, um, besides K2, this is the other really good energy conversion lab target in the deck um, because this has overwhelm. Both K2 and uh, this have overwhelm. So if they just have like a one health mm -hmm. unit thing, you just crack into so it. If with you an have Sabine gun. out and it attacks, it says uh, if you control a leader unit, give a friendly unit plus two plus two. You can two, give, you give this. Itself, yes. And then overwhelm? Okay. Yes. That's you can strong. give this because it says give a unit, right? Not yeah. another friendly unit, right? Mm -hmm. You can still split the damage up depending on what the board state is, but yes, this can crack in for seven. It so can this kill is, Vader. Yes. Yeah. Well, Vader's like it got damage on it him does, because right? Vader's yeah. got ambush, right? So Vader doesn't come out of the... Uh, they can overwhelm Vader and kill it. Yeah. Do some damage. 
Yeah, so we're going to take out Dodonna for the Steadfast Battalion. Um, the deck that we played against yesterday was running Steadfast Battalion, so I think that's uh, a worthwhile change up. Um, and uh, you are still 47 out of 50 cards are hero cards, so four Akaza, I believe, and will still hit for four damage most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, worst case, it would hit for three, um, and the being able to choose your next draw is extremely powerful. Uh, Rebel Pathfinder is worth considering for this deck, but I think I'm going to opt out of it for right now just to get the uh, the show on the road. Yeah, I think it's just like, um, I don't know what you'd cut for it. That It really makes a meaningful difference. Yeah, so um, you've got one, two, three, four. So you have 12 two-drops in the deck, so that means about one in, uh, one in one fourth of the cards that you draw are going to be two drops. Mm -hmm. The, um, the, if this game right now, this game is if you don't hit your two drop, you lose. You're far behind. You are impossibly yeah. behind if you don't hit something to play on turn one, right? Um, I play, I was playing a test game against Sabine yesterday and I mulligan, I mulligan to hand and then mulligan into no two drops or one drops uh -oh. and a deck that has. <laughs> Uh, the deck, uh, the Tarkin deck that I run has got six one drops and like nine two drops, so 15 one and two drops, and I hit none of them. And I was just kind of like, oh well, you know. The sideboard, I don't think you've, uh, did you build a sideboard for this? Yes, yeah, so um, I uh, would consider changing the sideboard. The sideboard that I had built, um, uh, and it's worth talking about sideboards because um, over like, half the games you play are going to be sideboard, right? Um, so I put um, in the sideboard uh, Disabling Fang Fighter, um, which is uh, when played you may defeat an upgrade. So sideboards are 10 cards. Um, so um, yeah, so yeah, you play this just because defeat an upgrade is extremely versatile. I mean, defending a shield is like getting really rid of a really shield good. is yeah. good. Getting rid of experience tokens are good, and then and honestly, I think I think a way to combat Sabine is that cycle of two drop attachments that give people power. Mm. A lot of Sabine decks are gonna ignore your creatures and go straight to the face. And so if you, like, Entrenched gives a creature plus three, plus three, um, and it costs two. You can trade it. I feel like you can get so many so much value from that. Yeah, I'll right. Just, like, right. any random guy. Um, so, yeah, you can get a lot of value from that. So I, I, I think there's a world, and there's a world where, like, somebody like Kanan picks up a lightsaber, and then... He's just huge. And he <laughs> just kills everything that yeah. hits the table. I think when the Sabine deck loses, it loses because... Um, the first like couple of turns of the game it plays like one one value body after another um and if those are just answered in the turn valued and the points gaining uh board position with their living guys yeah it doesn't play removal oh yeah right it doesn't have good removal options its best removal option is the energy conversion lab um you lose the game right so uh, another nice thing about fang fighters that's another space unit um which is i think good because i think a lot of decks a lot of people will just not play enough space yeah and so. you can like you kind of just get damage in, in space all the time um now i put three wolves into the sideboard um and wolf is a three two <clears throat> saboteur for two this says when played on attack bases can't be healed for this phase mm. um so i put wolf in here in case uh you run into an Aiden or just blue decks in general have a a, um, a solid amount of healing so Wolf is the answer to that. Um, so I think you sideboard this in um, if you think your opponent's going to be healing a lot. or And the Saboteur means he just gets to go straight to the face too. Now, so if you have um, the heavy shields or if you yeah. just need to avoid Sentinel. Yeah. Now, uh, the thing to remember is that a lot of these cards in the sideboard aren't hero cards. Um, so that every so they, time you're signing stuff in, you're, you're making your four claws, I believe, in a little worse. But you can always side that out. Yeah, right, right. At some point, there's like a threshold, right? So... Um, got full set and five boosters. Is missing Lando and both hat spaceship. I have two vendors. Yeah, uh, I've seen some. So if you buy like a sealed case, if you can find a sealed case, they're like really well distributed. The right? distribution's really solid. But if you like buy a box, then go back in a couple days and buy another box. That's where the distribution gets wacky. Yeah. So.
I know I, I got ten um, boxes. Um, only one of those were from the same case. True. Strike True is a uh, is worth considering. Um, now oh, yeah. I I put removal. Zeb in the sideboard. Now this is for honestly this was for the Sabine Mirror because mm. um, you can energy conversion lab Zeb. Zeb's going to kill whoever he fights, and then he's going to get more value by killing something else, right? Um, so that's uh, I put Zeb in because I thought Zeb was a really good energy conversion lab target. Um, and so I would, uh, like if I were to cite side... something else about sideboards is you have to actually know what you're taking out of the deck too, right? A lot of people will like gut the way a deck functions, um, to put some stuff into the sideboard that they think is going to help. I remember uh, a lesson from the magic days played against a, a magic player who was playing an aggro black deck and he subbed out, um, some of his reach for hand removal. And so he would, like, turn one, he'd, like, discard a card from a hand. But what he's done is he's stopped putting pressure on me. So it takes longer for his deck to win, and I was playing, like, a red-green uh, tap-out deck. And so, yeah, at some point, like, starting turn five, I don't have a hand, and I'm just playing from the top of my deck. But he's playing, like, two twos, and I'm playing five fives, yeah. right? And so <sighs> you lose the game if you change your game plan too much. So, um so yeah, I think uh, uh, Zeb, uh, my rationale, Zeb comes in instead of like drill attack pod or something like that, where um, you, it's, it's like you need to the same function but better. You need to like lower your curve a little yeah. bit, right? Um, it's possible Zeb instead of the steadfast battalion one. Uh, it's a red card for free, uh, fighters for freedom. It's a hero card for for a cause I believe in. Right, so and there's an argument for a Zeb main deck. Yeah, also. I could see Zeb. Yeah. I got honestly, I could see Zeb making the main. Yeah. Um, and then the last card that I put in was U Wing Reinforcement, um, and uh, this is Chroma Key here. But uh, I put in U Wing Reinforcement for the control matchups. If you play against somebody who mm. is playing like twenty ah, removal dot okay, DEC, yeah. um, then you play U Wing Reinforcement Let's and reload, and you just get to dump a bunch of people onto the table. Right. Okay. Still a hero card for four cause I believe in. Um, and uh, this uh, gives you a, something to hit late game if your opponent is just trying to kill everything you play. Would right? you consider so, removing Heroic Sacrifice for Strike True? Um, in the initial... So, I think taking out Heroic Sacrifice of the main deck is an option if you think you're going to be playing against a lot of control mm, okay. because you don't actually you want, want us to like trade right yeah well no you that do, so you do, you do heroic with this heroic sacrifice is rebel assault do you want to end the game with it yeah so a heroic sacrifice with a uh, fighters for freedom on the table is like a million damage right <laughs> I mean, that's like, like the, with k2 that's crazy right Right, 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 right. Clearly, it was designed for him, right? Yeah, the, yeah. You know, just it is, uh, he's on that's, art. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's thematic. It, mm -hmm. It's what's happened in the movie. Uh, practically, Fighters for Freedom is a saboteur, so you can heroic sacrifice. You'll get a damage from Fighters for Freedom. Then your fighters go to five, and you can crack in for six. Right. So I heroic see. sacrifice is, uh, represents a large amount of reach in the deck. So it's, so you're losing reach to get removal. Yeah. Um. And right. And so. The plus two is relevant with K2 and Steadfast Battalion because they both have Overwhelm. Um, so, yeah, you, you uh, strike, and, and the thing about strike two, the strike uh, true. true, is that it costs three. Yeah. Um, and so the actions in this deck are very cheap. Zero, one, one. Yeah, and for a cause I believe in, which will also often be the last card that you play, right? Like, this card, this card, and this card. Rebel Assault, Heroic Sacrifice, and Four Cause I Believe In. Those are usually going to be one of the last cards that you play in a game. Um, and then you stop playing, you move on to the next game, right? Let's, so, uh, let's play games. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, so, yeah, I, I, you do have... I think you've got some interesting sideboard options for Sabine. I'm not, uh, I'm not a Sabine main. I... Uh, as long as this is the meta deck, I probably won't play it in the local we're tournaments. Meta Andes. Yeah, that's what we, uh, you know, we I'm don't try to play no meta deck. Right, right, we right. We have to learn how to beat it. There's a, there's a galaxy full of possibilities. Um, and you also have to accept that you might lose to it. Yeah, if that's play, fine. If you're not that's a meta fine. player, you might lose to the meta. Yeah. Um, right, so I'm going to play, for the first game, I'm going to play my Grand Inquisitor deck that I played yesterday. So I'll go over this real quick. Yeah. Because um, I, I really like this deck. It's fun. It's super aggressive. I did lose to a Tarkin deck, so I went 2 and 1, but I ended up, I ended up getting second. I did not play against the Samin deck that got first. Um, 
Get, get, your, get your guys in the right oh, place. I'm sorry. Get your guys. So I'm playing Security Complex, which is a give a shield token to a non-leader unit. Grand Inquisitor has his ability is he's an action, he has two damage to a friendly unit with three or less power, and readies it. So he works really well with the other Inquisitors, like Fifth Brother. So Fifth Brother, he can come into play on turn three, you can action Grand Inquisitor to put two damage on him, ready him, he can attack, do a damage to himself, do a damage to another ground unit, and attack for five at the same time. Yeah, he yeah, hits really So hard. he can get big. What I like to do is I like to play the Fifth Brother, I like to ready it, I do an attack if I can, if all this is unimpeded. I then give it shield token, so that for the next turn he's like ready to, to be beefy and big, right? Yeah. You can also use um, the Seventh Sister to do quite a bit of damage. So Seventh Sister is a 3-5, Savage, or 3-6 Saboteur, when this unit deals combat damage to an opponent's base, it deals 3 damage to a ground unit that opponent controls. So Seventh Sister, you comes into play on turn 5, you use the Inquisitor's ability to ready it. It can swing in, do 3 damage to a base, shoot a unit, usually get some removal in, right, if it's not dealt with. Another good target to get a shield. So, yeah. And then uh, Inquisitor, when he actually comes into play on turn 6, he has a very similar ability, except it can do um, one damage instead of two damage when he attacks to ready a unit. So you can actually, on the turn you're deploying him, you can use his action to tap him, do two damage to ready, like Seven Sister. You can attack with Seven Sister. You can deploy the Grand Inquisitor. You can attack the Grand Inquisitor. You can do a damage to Seven Sister. You can ready Seven Sister. You get another attack in with Seven Sister. So you can uh, get a ridiculous amount of damage in one turn with, uh, with Grand Inquisitor if your units are not dealt with. Now yeah. you can, I think, a removal... <laughs> Can pick this deck apart and, and did. Uh, I lost to an overwhelming barrage. Right. However, Sabine's not back in a lot of removal. So we'll, no, see, we'll no. see how it works out. Yeah, I was going to say uh, so one of the things that I would say about this game is like the turn your leader comes into play seems to be like a big swingy turn. Um, we had a question about what our favorite leaders are at the moment. I really like playing Tarkin right now. And that's because I play. I, I ended up playing a lot of Tarkin in draft and then I just ended up making a uh, constructed deck around Tarkin. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, I've had. Moderate, <coughs> modest, I'll say modest success against Sabine with the Tarkin deck, um, the Tarkin yellow that I have. Uh, that'll make an appearance later in the stream. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, uh, I really enjoyed playing Tarkin right now. So I've, I played a lot of Inquisitor. I've, that's why I was really excited about playing yesterday. So yeah. um, I've, I feel pretty comfortable with the deck. I will say there's a lot of cards in here that I have never played. <laughs> I've, never, I've never actually paid the resource cost to play the card. Yeah. But that's fine because you get resources, right? Yeah. All right. It also means there's open slots for when new cards come out. All right, let's get an initiative. Ah, eight. Five. All right, so I got initiative. We're finally playing the game. That was a long intro. Hopefully you power through. Right, right, right. That's for the all Hopefully YouTube viewers. That, that was good knowledge. Yeah, it was a lot of. Sure. It was a lot of stuff to discuss too, yeah. right? Like, we turned me yesterday. Thirty people. Leia and Sabine were the stars of the show for sure. Wow, thirty Ooh. people. That's cool. Leia. Well, I guess it was Leia. Just like aggro Leia, or was it like? Uh, uh, interesting. I have not seen Leia stuff. I haven't. Like, I I intend to explore all of the leaders yeah, I think on some stream, point I think or another to build decks with all of them yeah at some point right. and try them out and see, see how they function yeah and um i know there's probably a lot of new faces just because of the star wars stuff that we're doing um but uh our um our stream is really dedicated to actual playing the game right like we we want to play the game and understand how it functions um and so a game like this i'm glad there's a lot of options as far as leaders and stuff like that and yeah, okay, maybe Sabine is the boogeyman, right? Um, and maybe this deck uh, will be the dominant meta deck. But, um, you know, uh, eventually it won't. And I would love to have experience with the rest of the stuff, right? So, uh, all right, we're going to put that down. Um, and I'll put that down. Okay, um, I am going to start with um, playing... Battlefield Marine. Sorry, Marines ground unit. Here. Sorry, this is the ground unit arena, yeah. sir. I'm gonna play the scout bike pursuer. I'll show you. I'll show you off the like, scout bike pursuer. So talk about that. It's one four with grit. So Grand Quizzer can do two damage to him. Ready him, and he's a three two. Yep. On turn one, pretty good. Um, Sabine is gonna do uh, damage to both of our bases. Okay. Um, we're, we're counting down. Do we? Should we count up? Should, should we, we count, count up? up? I think we should count up. Okay. Uh, should, uh, we can count up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, give us one second. We'll have to adjust the thing real quick. So, all right, we'll 
We'll count up damage then. We'll count up. So that is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. So. All right. I'm gonna. So I'm readying my scout bike. All right. I will seize the initiative. Okay. So uh, right now I have an option. I could hit my base. Get a shield token to uh, this guy and yeah. attack your guy, which I think is actually pretty strong. Uh, or I could just attack your base for three. But I kind of like just getting your units off the board. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um, it is a little, is a little aggressive. Sure. Because I lose my epic action, but I'm gonna shield token and I'm gonna attack the All right. marine. All right. I don't think it's incorrect. I don't think it's necessarily I think it's, incorrect I think it's, either. I think it is defensible. Yeah. Remember, you draw to place a resource and then you ready. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah. please partake yeah, I'm sorry. Rules. I, I was I was doing that yesterday where I would ready up and then I would like draw my cards. Yeah, and play you the... technically you play the resource exhausted. Yeah, and then it right. It, so, um, okay. Burn decks are always the best with one side. Yeah, usually there's like an aggro deck that is the strongest uh, with a new game, and that's that's normal and I think healthy. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't. You want aggro decks to exist. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right, I'm gonna play the Green Squadron A Wing. All right, I'm gonna attack your base for three. All right, I'll take three. I need to adjust my buttons. I am going to play the Spec Force Soldier. I'm gonna play First Legion Snow Trooper. I'm gonna use Sabine and do the damage to both of us. I actually wonder if I'm supposed to cool it at some point since we're both. Since I'm aggro, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do two damage to my snow trooper and ready. Um I will seize the initiative. I'm gonna attack your base for two. Done. And then I'm done. Alright. I can see why overwhelming barrage was uh a blowout against me. Yeah. It, it literally kills all the units <laughs> I have on the table. Yeah. That's brutal. Alright, what card are we putting down? This is actually um um, I think I have to put that down as a resource. You guys have a Twin Suns deck as well. We'd love to see some deck tech about Twin Suns. What's, uh, what is Twin Suns? So Twin Suns is basically their version of Commander. Oh, okay. You have two leaders. Um, they, ha they have to share a hero or villain. But you have two leaders. Uh, it's Highlander format, so no more than one copy of every card. Mm -hmm. And then I think you have a base as well. Um, and they announced that they intend to increase the minimum deck size for the format as more cards come uh, out for it. So okay, they, okay. they intend to build to uh, it oh, being that does sound kind cool. of a We will probably do that. We'll try that at some point. I actually had not looked into that at all. So, But that sounds cool. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it does sound good. Um, okay, so um, now I... Um, do I start with Sabine? How much damage am I going to take this turn? Is a, is a is a big question. I think I actually start. Well, I think I start by um, having the Green Squadron A Wing attack for three. I think that's what I start with. I would um, rather get the damage in with. I would that. say that is correct because I'm playing this interceptor okay. and doing three damage to it. Yeah. There's three different initiative tokens to claim in Twin Suns. Yes, that's correct too. Yeah, so there, there's the initiative. <coughs> there's like a card draw one where uh, when you take that, you pass. You draw a card and then take a card from your hand and put it on the bottom of the deck. So that's like card filtering. Um, it's important to like actually put stuff back in your deck because you, if you end up in like an exhaustion mm -hmm. state, you end up taking extra damage. Um, and then there's one that if you take it, you do one damage to everybody else's bases as well. Okay. So um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a pretty cool um, format in theory. Hmm. We might try it out at some point. But it's, it's um, intended for multiplayer, though. I believe so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's intended for multiplayer. Which our current stream setup, we got a garbage box where there's, uh, there's no way a, th a third that, person's been. On yeah, that right we could now. get a third person <laughs> into the table right now. So. All right, you're right. Um, all right, so. Okay, so since that happened, um, I want to offer the train. I guess I'm going to energy conversion lab. Now I hate using it. Um, I don't have either of like the best targets for it here, um, but I think it's fine. 
I'm in an energy conversion lab, Fighters for Freedom, into the, uh, the snow trooper here. Um, all right, I'm going to attack your base for three. All right, I'll take the three. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack your base for two. I will season it. All right. I am going to Sabine both of us. Um, I'm going to deploy Sabine. Um, kill this or damage to your base. Damage to the base gets us to even. I think it's also, there's an argument to kill this thing. Um, because you'll, you'll be at nine. Um, you won't have like, all right, you know what? I'm killing that guy. Um, Sabine does one damage to your base. Um, she'll take three. Okay. And then I am going to play Metal Ceremony oh. and buff. That's right. <laughs> oh, baby. That's right. Now, uh, so my, in my experience, Metal Ceremony is what really uh, cranks this deck. Really gets it going. Yeah, I'm in a pretty bad spot now. Um, I am going to put down a resource here. Okay. I have initiative. Uh, I'm going to attack your base for three. Okay, so I'm at 14. Um, the fighters for freedom are going to attack for four into your base. Okay. I'll play a seventh sister. Mmm, okay. Um, Sabine's gonna attack your base for two, three, and then uh, attack trigger does a damage, so take four. Okay. I'm gonna do two damage to the seventh sister. I'm ready. Um, the. The spec for soldier is getting in for three. I'm at 20. All right, I'm going to attack your base for three. Yeah. And then uh, Seven Sisters is going to do three damage to this guy. Yeah, that's probably correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to play for a cause I believe in. Okay. So reveal the top four. One, two, three, four. So I take three? So you take three, yeah. And then I get to put these back in any order. Um, I actually think I just dump these. They're all gone. Throw them away! I'm going to deploy the Grand Inquisitor. Uh, he needs six oh, he needs resources. Six. He needs six resources, yeah, sir. the game. <laughs> uh, I'll take initiative. All right. I will play uh, another Sabine, um, and it's next turn. Hmm. Okay. I guess I die. I don't know how I don't die. You can you can put me to twenty. You have but... saboteur, I think. No. No, I have no saboteurs. Okay. All right. So. I'll play as Baze, who has Sentinel Live initiative. So that's something. Okay. I am going to play the Fleet Lieutenant, and then this Sabine is going to attack for uh, five into Baze. And do one to the base? And do one damage to the base. Um, she'll take some damage. The 24. You gotta answer two guys with one action. Yeah, uh, seven Sisters close, right? It's close. Like, like Seven Sisters. She can't do damage when she does damage to a unit. That's the thing. She has to do damage to a base. Correct. To do correct three. Yeah. If I can attack three and do three. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, she'd be cracked. But, but yeah. Uh, so I'll just attack your base and then do three damage to Sabine, I guess. Yep. The. Okay. I'm gonna 20 and then the spec force ends it there. Yep, yeah, I die. Okay. All right. There you go. That's why Sabine's good. Yep. Um, 
I do think I think Inquisitor cannot race. I mean, I think if I had gotten like a, a fifth brother, and my turn three yeah. was pretty bad because I just played the snow guy. Uh, you played the you played the snow trooper. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The snow trooper wants to combine with uh fifth, fifth brother, brother right? Get, yeah, and get damage out. Like if I had snow trooper turn one, right? Instead, and then fifth brother turn two. I think it's like a different yeah. game. But I think that's all. That's also a problem with this deck is that the the units you really pop off with. You, you don't have a lot of them, you know. Like you yeah. have seventh, uh, so seventh I, sister and fifth brother. I, I are super, super good. That's like an argument to play the Sabine deck, right? Because like, so many good units. Because Battlefield Marine, right? You've got Battlefield Marine on two. You've got Green Squadron A Wing on two. You've got Sabine on two. Okay, and then like when you've got a bad draw, you've got Alliance X Wing, right? And there's still draws where Alliance X Wing is good because then you uh, wing leer the X Wing, mm, right? Yeah. So, All right, I'm gonna run my Han deck from the last stream against uh, Sabine and see what happens. Okay, sure. And then I guess we'll swap. Oh, you got Aiden. Too, yeah, right? Do we play Aiden last? I'll we'll swap after this game and I'll play Aiden last. Okay, sounds uh, good. What do you guys think will happen with the land cards? Like, why is the two green lands at 30 HP seems odd? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, I guess. Uh, but, like, one is uh, more Empire themed, one is more Rebel themed, I guess. If you just like whichever one you like. Yes, yeah, so there's no telling how they're gonna expand the game from here, right? Yeah. Um, I think right now the game exists in a nice approachable method um and having different subtypes on bases does mean that there's like expansion you could have cards that reference like iadu yeah, yeah. right right yeah uh, hoth right like you that, you've got hoth. If you're, if echo your base, base hoth, then echo next. base defender right like could there's a world where echo base defender says um, it's a 3-3 three, three for 3, and then if your base is Hoth, it gets plus 1 and Defender, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that, that, like, that world could exist, and then you could only pull, like, that card, now, so, I don't think the card pool is big enough to just ha only have guys that only work with one specific yeah, base. Yeah, that's the thing they could, that's a design but space. But that's, that's a design space. I'm not necessarily saying that's a good design area, but it's one that exists, yeah. right? So... So this Han deck likes to ramp to U-Wing enforcement and then dump a bunch of shit on the table. That's yeah. pretty much the plan. We'll see if it can live long Yeah, I don't know to... if it can live long enough. That's the problem. It does have a lot of the same units. It's got some good really healing. Well it's got some healing options as well. Yeah. So. yeah. It's got some disruption and some events. <clears throat> like Asteroid Sanctuary, I think, is pretty good against Sabine. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, I think it, Asteroid Sanctuary is like... Just good. I think it's a very good card. Mm -hmm. Like the more I play the game, the more insane things Asteroid Sanctuary does. Honestly, um, uh, the yellow Tarkin deck that I play, um, you spend a lot of resources buffing one and two drops, and so when they pick up a shield, they're just crazy good. One thing so. I did like about playing Grand Inquisitor yesterday against Asteroid Sanctuary is I didn't care most of the time. Yeah, because I was ready again. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm just gonna blast it. That's fine. Right. Roll for initiative. But, yeah, I would say then um, you have to wait till the Inquisitor uses his action to ready the guy, and that's when you have to wait. Yeah, then you hit him. Um, you rolled a nine, I rolled an eight, so you've got the initiative. <coughs> okay. I will keep. Uh, same. Okay, I gotta remember what this deck does. Yeah, I mean, it's possible there are, like, 20 HP bases that have, like, repeatable effects, right? Like, there's a lot of design space around bases as they or are right now. Effects. Yeah, uh, you could have a static yeah. effect, right? So, I mean, the, um, uh, the thing that I would say is when they showed the stuff originally, they were like, you've got a leader and a base. And I saw the base, and I saw, like, three bases. They were different colors. They all had 30 HP. And I was like, okay, yeah, I kind of know where this is going. And then, like, Within a week, they spoiled that there was a base that had an action on it, and I was like, hold up. Hmm. You've got some interesting choices to make. This game actually sounds pretty cool. Even I think a base I'll... that has no ability, but it has like 20 HP and two aspects on it could, could be a thing. Could be a thing, right? yeah. I right. mean, that's a big trade-off. Yeah, that, yeah. That's you're, you you're trading 10 hit points for the ability to play a wider variety of cards. I could see those existing. Yeah. yeah. I could see those existing soon. Yeah. So... Uh, the, the, the yeah, the initiative. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll play this Lothal Insurgent. So when played, 
If you played another card this phase, each opponent draws a card, then discards a random card from random. This okay. is just a 3 2. All right. Uh, I will play the Battlefield Marine. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take initiative. I am going to do one damage to each of us. Wait, let me reset. Boom. All right. Uh, yep, that's it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to fight this Battlefield Marine. All right. I am going to play... Um, actually, I think I just tap and do a damage to each of us. I'm going to play Echo Beast Defender. Um, I will play Echo Base Defender. Very well. I'll take an issue. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, I got to put one of these down. Um... <laughs> I, I think these, these can be very card. tough decisions. I think that's I think that's the card right there. Is there is a Death Star card? Tw yeah, well, I mean, that's what the the seven cost action implies that the there's going to be like some expensive Death Star card, uh, right? Like true. like a ten cost a ten cost Death Star, right? That's just insane or does something, right? Like there's the the. I, the one of the things that excites me about the game is the design space, right? This set is exploring. A tiny amount of design space, um, and it seems very well designed in this design space. Or, or so. All right, I'm going to use Han's ability and play a resource. I'm going to play red three. Okay. I'm going to play Battlefield Marine. I'm going to play Spec Force Soldier, and this is going to lose Sentinel. I'm going to play Admiral Akbar, and I'm going to do three damage to the Echo Base Defender with Admiral Akbar. I'll show Ad Akbar on stream. I don't think we've talked about him much. Well, we played him last stream, but... <clears throat> so, 1-4, one when played, you can deal damage to a unit equal to a number of other units... You, number of units you control in its arena. So, comes to play those three damage. Pretty good in the ground arena. Uh, I'm going to use Sabine and do a damage to both of us. I'm going to attack your base for... Ooh, I could take out this guy. Yeah, I'm going to fight this guy. Okay. I think clearing units against Sabine is very important. Uh, I'm going to deploy Sabine. Alright, I will take initiative. Sabine's going to attack your base for... Did you have to attack this guy? Oh, he lost Sentinel. He's lost Sentinel. So Sabine's going to attack you for two, three, <clears throat> four. Okay, that's seven. Um... Okay. This game feels like original Star Wars CCG sort of. Yeah, I mean, there's like there's like the zones of conflict is similar, right? I need to. I, I uh, to yeah. So the ground versus space arena is a very elegant solution to some of the problems that have existed in the Star Wars game before, where you want vehicles and you 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 have to somehow make a lightsaber fight as compelling as a dog fight in space, right? That's that's what a lot of people were always attracted to in the original trilogy was the multi-layered combat, um, you know, the 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 climax of Return of the Jedi where you've got a ground fight plus like 
Luke fighting for his soul versus, you know, all this other stuff. Um, Eddie gets yes. a treat. So. <laughs> um, for those unfamiliar with Eddie, it's my dog. Yeah, he hangs out. He hangs out here and barks at me sometimes. And you'll be able to see. Come, here. Come on up. Come on up. Come on. Come on. You put on a show, come Eddie. On. Come on. Come you on. want a treat? You got to put come on a show, come Eddie. Come over here. There you go. All right, come up. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. There you go. Eddie's been treated. Thank you, Mr. Maestro. All right, that's good. You're done. You're, ready. You're done here. I'm ready to stuff up. All right, and you blew up an Admiral Akbar. I blew up an Admiral Akbar. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to play Fleet Lieutenant. And I'm going to give this Battlefield Marine plus 2 plus 0 and attack Sabine. Smash her off the table. Um, I am going to epic action in the steadfast battalion. Um, bulldoze that guy and do four. four damage to your base. Very well. Um, I'll attack your base for one and restore one. Sure. So I get that. And then I'm going to attack your base for three. Okay. Um, that did not get to the plus two. That's correct. I'm correct. going to energy conversion lab and play Mon Mothma. I'm going to look at the top five cards for a rebel card and put it in my hand. I wish Ewing reinforcement was a rebel. I'm going to get this Dodonna. The rest go on the bottom. And then uh, Mon Mothma is going to run into this guy with ambush. I'm going to seize the initiative. Okay. I'll pass. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. I am going to attack your base for three. Sixteen. All right, I'm going to play this is Dodonna. Get big. I am going to Sabine us both. Okay. Attack your base for four. Sure. Uh, I'm going to play Metal Ceremony and buff red three. I'll attack your base for four. I am going to play Fighters for Freedom. I'm going to deploy Han Solo. I'm going to deploy Fires for Freedom and do a damage to you. Oh, God. Okay. Han is going to fight the Fires for Freedom. Han is going to put the top card of my deck into play as a resource. And ready it. I'm going to seize the initiative. Okay. I'm going to play Fleet Lieutenant. I'm going to give Akbar plus three, uh, and he's going to fight that guy. And restore one. Um, and that's it. Pass. I need to not ready. Up. Sabine's been used. Hmm. <clears throat> and ready. I think he had just enough to escape this game. Yeah, it was. It's called, It's pretty close, even still, with all this stuff, right? I I think I think my draw was actually bad, right? Okay. I think if I have K two on four, yeah, the yeah, game sure. the game is over. But um, all right, I'll attack you for three. I think at this point the game is done. But uh, sorry, this is actually four, four. Okay, twenty one. So oh. like, if you had that thing, uh, that'd be bad. So I need to play around that a little bit with Akbar. So I'll attack your base for two. And restore one. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to play K2. Ooh. Okay. Well, I, don't, I need to somehow not get your K2 killed. All right, so I'll attack your base for four. Uh, four. Uh, yeah, no, I die. Yeah, because um, these. So, yeah. Any number of these guys, right? Yeah. Whew. All right, that was actually a pretty close game. Yeah. Um. Right, right, right. So, like I said, I think you had just the right stuff at the right time that game. Um, the Akbar, I considered. I put yeah, down. You had like fought into the marine. So well, right, right, right. So I oh, had yeah. a battlefield marine in my hand. Okay. And so I considered using energy conversion lab to trade, to trade into the echo base defender because then my echo base defender could get into your base for four. Um, and then Akbar doesn't kill my guy. For I actually free. did not expect Akbar to get a kill there. Um. So yeah, yeah. Right. 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 So I think that's that was like that's one of those lessons learned type yeah. thing for future games. Is, this game uh, is definitely uh, not as easy as Dune CCG. Yes, that's no. <laughs> we have an infamous video on Dune CCG as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a ago. copy pasta. I don't I don't know if you're, uh, how long you've watched our stream there, Star Reapers, but yeah, we got a copy pasta from the Dune thing. Um, so, give yeah. Me, give me the Sabine. You can try Sabine. Um, I've so never I, played Sabine yet, so. So, I'm gonna, uh, I've got this, this is an experimental brew. All right, this is an IG-88 aggro deck. IG-88 is widely considered the worst of the leaders right now. Um, but we're playing 24 one-drops IG-88. Okay. Okay? And that's what's happening here. We got 24 one-drops in this deck. Okay? Um, and our goal with IG-88, maybe we'll get around to playing IG-88. <laughs> maybe. Well, that's, we got to get to five resources to play them. But, um, you know... Uh, yeah, our, our goal with this IG-88 deck is to actually be able to tap and use his hero power. Um, that, is not the that has not been the case against a lot of IG-88 decks that I've played against. Um, they don't have enough... The ability to, to actually trigger the ability, yeah. the, the card. Yeah. yeah, that does seem tough. And, like, jumping through those hoops just to get plus one, plus one on attack... Does seem not great. Yeah, it does seems seem seems a bit of a stretch. So yeah. now I do. Uh, so the thing is, is this does give you the ability to trade up. Yeah. Okay. So you can trade a one drop into a three drop, right? If you've got a two power one drop and you've got three people on the board and they play Echo Base Defender, one drop trades into there, and then the other guys go to the face. So. Uh, rolling for initiative. Five. I'll say most of the decks we're playing are 25 health decks. Yes. How much better is a 30 health deck against a Sabine? Um, I do think Energy Conversion did, Lab... Did we both roll five? Yeah, I think Energy Conversion Lab is very important Three. to play against Sabine. Because uh, if you can get a good one in, like, even my Mon Mothma attack was super good. Okay. <laughs> we're just going to keep rolling. This back. happens forever. Yeah. Eight. Six, all, right, all right, all right, all right, and I've got the initiative. We got there. But like, if you're trying to beat Sabina, there's what there's an argument to play a thirty health base. I uh, don't disagree. Um, I I actually don't disagree. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start by playing a TIE Fighter. I'll play Battlefield Marine. Uh, I am gonna play ISB Agent, and I'm gonna show you Force Choke and do one damage to the Battlefield Marine. I'm gonna do damage to each base. Alright, I'm gonna take the initiative. Okay, I'll pass. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in this habit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw, draw. I'm testing against Sabine and I use 30 HP base. There's been a mini game of one with under 5 HP left. Yeah, I believe that. I, yeah. I, even the last game with Han, I was like really close to just losing to one card. Yeah, I, I, if I had seen it, I think you did yeah, lose, yeah. right? I think I did. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, so it was, it was, you got the Akbar kill, and so I feel like that is a point in your favor. You. You had initiative and killed Sabine before I could get... Uh, I would have gotten six damage with that guy and yeah. steamrolled something. 
Um, and so uh, that was a point in your favor. Um, and then uh, the energy conversion lab was actually like best case scenario, right? Because it was trade off a terrible two drop that drew a card, um, right? So yeah. Okay, I what am I putting down? One of these. This finished my first game. I love it. So many interesting things to think about during the game. Yeah, and then there's so many decision points, and so much to learn after the course of a game. Like you can, oh, you yeah. can examine yeah. all your plays. Like, oh man, if I if I didn't resource that card on turn three, on turn five, I would have won the game or whatever, right? Yeah. Um. Okay, I am going to use IG88 to have the ISB agent trade with the battlefield. Okay, so that's a good that's a good example of IG88's ability being pretty strong. Yeah. Because I could have, uh, if I had initiative there, I could have just traded into it and still been alive. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play... That's like an argument maybe you don't use Sabine's thing Instead of taking initiative yeah. last turn, yeah. yeah. I'm going to play this Fighter for Freedom. Okay. Um, I am going to play Fifth Brother. Go ahead. I'll do a damage to each base. Okay. Um, and then the TIE Fighter's going to attack your base for two. I will take initiative. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Hold. Draw, draw. All okay. right. Ready. Hold. All right. I will. Oh, man. Fifth brother is scary. He's a scary guy. I think I'm going to attack your base for three. Okay. Um, I'm going to IG fifth brother. I... Do I want to do the damage? So the reason to not do damage is because now I think if you had K two, you would have energy conversion yeah, would killed right there. Done that, yeah. Uh, I think that's what have happened. There's also an art like you. There's a chance you echo base defender there as well. So um, anyway, um, so yeah, I guess I'll do the damage and damage. So like that. Okay. And attack. Uh, base. Base for the yeah yeah okay. yeah. I don't like. Yeah, fighters for freedom sucks, but. You know. Uh, so, uh, sorry, the, you're, you took two, uh, three, one. four. Yeah. Okay. I am going to energy conversion lab the screen squadron A wing and fight the TIE fighter. Okay. And do a damage to your base with the fighter for freedom. Okay. Uh, could you tap your resources, sir? Yes, I can. All right. I'm going to play Admiral Ozzel. I'm going to play Sabine. And do a damage to your base. I am going to pass. I'm going to deploy Sabine. I am going to Asteroid Sanctuary Sabine, and I'm going to Shield Fifth Brother. Okay. I'm going to Metal Ceremony. I got these two. I will take the initiative. All right, I'll pass. Nope, wrong. Bad. Hmm. Okay. Two okay. Sabines. All right, you're up. This is where Ozzel's really good, too. Did you do a damage with that guy? Uh, you played this uh, yes. Okay. I did. Yeah, Ozzel's, like, solid here. Um, I am going to use Ozzel to play the First Legion Snow Trooper. Okay. Joker is gifting 10 subs. Thank you, Joker. Hey, appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you. Look at all those people got subs. Welcome. No more ads. Congratulations. You get emotes too? Um, okay. 
the snow trooper and take out my fighter for freedom. Or I could just attack into it. And he kills the Philippa, which is fine. Or I should I be more aggressive? Like I don't know. I, should I be trading even? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight the snow trooper. Okay. With the fighters. <clears throat> I'm gonna play a tie fighter. Okay. I'll attack your base for three. I'll so attack your base for two plus one. Sure. I'm gonna deploy IG eighty eight. Each other friendly unit gets raid one. Okay. Okay. I'll attack your base for two. Three. Sure. Uh, I think Fifth Brother's going to fight Fighters for Freedom. I'm not going to use Fifth Brother's ability. I'm just going to crash okay. him in there. Take it out with the shield. Yeah. That represents like way too much damage. So. I'm going to play a Wing Leader and give two experience. Uh, I'll give it to the Green Squadron anyway. Get big. Um, I'm going to Jetta to give it minus four. Very well. Um, it's all attack for two. Two? Okay. Yeah. Um, IG-88 is going to attack your base for five. I'm going to play Battlefield Marine. I will take the initiative. Yeah, I'll pass. IG IG doesn't die to anything you have on the table. I, 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 there's like a chance I just died to Rebel Assault here. Um, TIE Fighters are going to attack your base for three. Hmm. I'm going to get in with his A-Wing while I can. So that's uh, five, six damage. Yeah, all right. So 20. You you took the three from that, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, fifth brother is gonna attack. I'll do damage to himself and the damage to the marine. So he's gonna attack for four or five. five. Hmm. Do I lose the game? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I have rebel assault. Mm, yeah, I think so. I lose the rebel assault there. Yeah, because like Sabines could get in. Yeah, but I have K two and steadfast battalion, mm, which don't do anything. Uh, well, you drill them at the wrong time. I drill right? them at the wrong time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. K two earlier would have been pretty good. So, uh, so uh, I guess I attack for three. All right. So I'm at twenty two. Ig eighty eight finishes the yeah. job. Ig is the best hero. Beats oh, Sabine. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right. There you go. Look at that. IG-88. So I I put Force Choke down as a resource. I would describe that... I was that, so scared of Force Choke. I would describe that as a mistake. Yeah, because you could have Fifth Brother um, and Force Choke Sabine that turn, right? On turn four? I don't... Well, so... the If I Force Choke the Fighters for Freedom, that game is way less close. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, now, Force Choke, I think, is one of the best cards in the game. Yeah. That's insane. That's uh, very good. Right, because... Uh, but Yeah, so... Um, so yeah, I, I, I put four stroke down. And that, that's just like, man, learning this game, learning this game, learning this game is there's not a, easy. There's a lot of lessons. There's a lot to learn. Yeah. A lot to learn with this game. Um, yeah, so this IG-88 deck, uh, for those interested, um, uh, I put the link, I, I put a screenshot of it in our Discord. Um, there's room for change in here. Um, I've got keep fightings in here right now, and, um, so keep... The, I'll, I'll just lay out this IG-88 deck real quick, just the cliff notes. Cantina Braggart, Seventh Fleet Defender, Mining Guild. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll flip it out. Um, I just, I wanted to submit this deck for the record. Um, the Snow Trooper, Waylays, Greedo, Tubes, 
Jawa, Death Star Stormtrooper, um, Pirated Starfighter. You actually have like a, a decent space contingent in mm, this deck. Yeah. Um, and TIE Fighter. Force Chokes, <coughs> ISB Agents, Asteroid Sanctuaries, and Oz, oh, Cantina Braggart, and Ozel. Oz, uh, and Fifth Brother. Um, keep fighting, yes. Fifth Brother may be Force my favorite choke. unit in the game. He's so um, good. Ozel is a two of, everything else is a three of. Um and force choke. There you go. This is mm. the this is three of all of this stuff except for Ozzel, which is a two of. Um and there is room for some um uh there's some room for experimentation here. Um this is uh this is this is we I've iterated it on it a couple of times. The keep fighting, so keep fighting and tubes works really well together. Keep fighting and press brother works very well together. Yes, yeah, um, both of those work really well together. Keep fighting and tubes, tubes give somebody raid two, um, and so you can either keep fighting tubes to give another raid two, or you can keep fighting the guy who gets raid two. Yeah, also, yeah. So you can play a guy fight with tubes, ready them to keep fighting. Yeah, um, and then. Uh, get some attacks in there, so you can um, this deck that uh, that draw that I had it it cranked the damage up on the last like turn to like close the game out, um, and that was uh, the decision point. There is fight with the guys who can die, right? Like I, like get your damage in from your unit and move on. So um, anyway, this is uh, this is this deck. Um, the funny thing was is when I made it on uh, Star Wars. Um, database they auto automatically generated name was called marmalade murder bot <laughs> that's pretty good which is too good it not to use pretty good. um so that's just a funny name marmalade murder bot all right um then i got yellow tarkin run out so let me play yellow tarkin target this deck is what i played yesterday um so um the only change is I opened up a Vader in one of my prize packs, so I swapped out um, a tactical advantage for a Darth Vader. So, Tarkin, I'm scared. I'm most scared of Tarkin. He is. He makes it so hard to outvalue your opponent. Yeah, it's actually crazy. Tried Yellow Sabine. We have not tried Yellow Sabine. That's certainly something we could try in the future. Yeah, um, Yellow Sabine. I think your units are like. So Yellow Sabine would be you play like the Rebel Saboteur, the three drop there. Um like Yellow Sabine, you end up with like more tricks, right? Like it's probably just different matchups. The thing with the green Sabine Energy uh, Converge Lab is like really, really powerful. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy What's how powerful Sabine? it is. We I just had we we've like not hit the right cards yeah. <laughs> in the last two matches yeah. with Sabine, right? Uh, also ask me to meow hello from Italy. Uh hello. Welcome. Will you meow? Please. What's up, Dave? Yeah, there's uh, there's so many things we can, uh, so many decks we can experiment with on stream. Uh, so if you guys oh, have anything you want to like, see, yeah. So let us know in Discord. You've got eight. You've got six, eighteen leaders, and eight possible bases. Yeah. Right. So um, that right there. You could that that's a ton of possible decks that exist. I, I when I heard about that, I was like super excited for the game because I was like, you can end up exploring with this game for so long. Yeah, so if, if pop into our Discord link linked it above, um, there's a Star Wars Unlimited channel and a lot of people are into the game right now. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you want to want to see on stream, let us know because that's how we know yeah. what to stream. <laughs> mm, this is Mulling. I have no true drop. Um, I will keep. No two drop is very bad. Yeah, that's an auto mulligan. Very that's an auto mulligan condition of that deck. That's like one reason to consider playing uh, one or two copies of Rebel Pathfinder because it get, you go from you go from twelve two drops to like thirteen or fourteen two drops. More consistent. Um, and that just gives you a couple more percentage points, right? 
Um, we said earlier, but I still I do believe if you just miss your turn one play in this game, like pack it up, All right, move on <laughs> to the next game. Luckily, uh, construct is best of three. Yeah. All right, so let's do these two. No, yeah, yeah, these two. Okay, I am first. I will play Sabine. All right, I am going to play Tie Fighter. I'm gonna do a damage each base. I'm going to use Tarkin and buff the Tie Fighter. I'll take initiative. Um, One day, I'm going to do this right with the resources. All right. All right. I. Hmm. We'll attack your base for three. Yeah, I'll take that. You will. Ah! Ah! You will, in fact, take that. Ah! Jeez. I dropped a bunch of stuff. Just ignore that. Ah! Don't look at these. I'm not. Stop looking at them. Okay. I am... Um, I'm going to play Colonel Ularin. And uh, when you play a green unit, including this one, you get to heal one damage to your base. So I'll heal. Alright. I'm going to energy conversion lab and play... Play Fires for Freedom and then fight Yularen. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna buff my TIE Fighter. Alright, I'll do one to each base. Uh, and that costs one. Uh, I'll attack you for four. Ow. I'll take an issue. Okay. TIE Fighter is un unfuckwithable. <laughs> I think it's living for as long as it, as long as it wants to live. Hmm. Okay, I'll take your base for three. I have to decide if I just like want to race, right? Um, that's one of the things I have to decide. Energy conversion lab is like accounted for. Can I race um, fighters for freedom? Whew. That doesn't feel. Mm. That doesn't feel possible. Um. I, I think, regardless of what happens this turn, Tarkin is always going to end up buffing this TIE Fighter. I'll take a base for three. Okay. I am going to attack you for five. I'm going to play green, green Squadron A-Wing, and I'll do a damage to your base. With the Fires for Freedom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am going to waylay the Fighters for Freedom. It turns my hand? Yeah. Okay. You can't okay. play them again and... Play Battlefield Marine. Okay. I am going to take the initiative. I'm going to deploy Sabine. Uh, I'll, I'll action first. I'll do one to each of us. Okay. And then I'll deploy Sabine. Okay. And then I will attack your base for three. Yeah. It is certainly a race. All right. Okay. Now. Nope. Bad. Wrong. I. 
All right, so uh, what's happened is I did not hit Overwhelming Barrage. If I have Overwhelming Barrage <laughs> here, Overwhelming Barrage is like kill, kill. Um, but I don't have an Overwhelming Barrage, so I think I die this turn. I think that's the, the very likely scenario is I just die this turn. Um, let's... Um, Twelve. Do I have do I have a line? Um, I guess I'm gonna deploy Tarkin. I wonder if I have the Jetta there. Got like a Jetta, like the Marine. Alright, I'm gonna play I'm gonna present you this red three. So each other friendly gain against red or gains raid one. Which I think you now have to kill with a TIE Fighter. I could be wrong. I have to do 13 damage. Um... Snowtrooper Tarkin. Goes in your base for four, buffs this TIE Fighter. Um, I have the other Snow Trooper. Mm. <clears throat> so if I Snow Trooper four, this goes to six. That's eight damage. That's 12 damage. That's not 13. <laughs> so we have to start trading stuff. Okay. So um, Tarkin takes out the Battlefield Marine um, and then will buff... The TIE Fighter. Okay, I'll attack your base for four. Yeah. Um, put you... So... Um, I will... Uh, no, I'm dead. I died. Yeah. <laughs> I died. Either way, if you kill red one or not. You're at 19. He's three and three. Yeah, it's six. Yep. Does Jetta minus four is that stack? Uh, sorry, is that does that uh, oh, it goes, it get goes a minus two? Can you go to negatives or do like you go to zero raid. and then raid increases you past one? This is actually a good rules thing to know. I don't actually know the answer. Yeah, to that. I think we'll probably just play it goes negative. I would I would assume it would yeah, go negative. Um, I guess we could ch check the. I think I maybe I've got them up on my phone. I'll double check. I'll just check the rules real quick. Uh, judge, judge, uh, the, the, the classic that. defense of someone who's got who has lethal presented against them on the board. It's called <laughs> I, a judge. I, I call judge, a judge, judge, Is judge. There any way I don't die judge, here, judge? You have to judge, judge. Legally, legally, judge. You have to tell me how to win this game from this standpoint. I'm trying to figure out how you not owned all die next turn. <laughs> if you do, that this turn. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't do. If I have the initiative for next turn, mm -hmm. then. Um, I don't know. We'll f I'll f figure we'll, it out. We'll, that's a problem for future you. Yeah. That's a problem for future me. I'm I'm la I'm laundering. Organized play. No, I need the rules. You need comprehensive rules. Game rules. No one finds it before Nathan. Comprehensive so rules. Job. Leave sight. All right. Power. Power number. Is there? Is it under game concepts? Game concepts. General deck. Gold rules. Players active. Current resource. Damage. Power. Power. Eight. Cost, damage, power. Um, units have power values. The units can be modified by upgrades or through certain card abilities. Any modifiers to a unit's power are cumulative. Okay, so that implies to me that it is cumulative. When calculating modified power, any modifiers that increase power are applied before any modifiers that decrease power. The card's power cannot be modified below zero. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. interesting. The card's power would be modified below zero. Treat the card's power zero as instead. Uh -huh. If an ability refers to the power of a card in play, include any modifiers to its power. If an ability refers to the power of a card in an out-of-play zone, use the uh, printed power of the card. Okay. So, a card's power cannot be modified. So it says minus four minus zero for this phase. So um, you can't go below zero, but this uh, is cumulative for the phase. And then it says you uh, uh, modify, yeah, so any modifiers to your unit's power are cumulative, cumulative, right? 
When calculating modified power, any uh, modifiers that increase power are applied before any modifiers that decrease power. Okay, so you would attack, get the raid bonus uh, bu bumped up, and then the Jedi would reduce again. Reduce okay. you back down to zero. Okay. All right, we solved it. We solved it. And if we didn't, sound off in the YouTube comments. I'm just, <laughs> I'm I'm sure your smart asses are going to do that anyway. We need, uh, so. we need a level two Star Wars judge. Yeah. Um, so I guess I got a Jedi City, and I'll choose. Uh, this Sabine. Okay. Um, so she's minus a bunch of power. I will attack your base for three. Okay. Put me to a 12. Um, do I just have to... To 22. Yeah. Sorry. Um, do I just have to take initiative here? Because you can just take the initiative and kill me. I think I have to take the initiative because otherwise I die. Okay. So I'll attack your base for one with the yeah. ability. So minus one. I lose out on a bunch of damage, but I, th I think I'm... Oh, this was actually for four because of raid one. Yes. So you're at one four. Okay, that's I fine. I wouldn't that's recommend fine. that. That's so I'll play this Alliance X-Wing and I'll pass. Okay. Would not recommend that. All right. Over. Well, okay, that's game. Next. I, uh, I, I think if I had... saves you there either, right? What's that? I don't think it no, really no, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't actually... Uh, it, uh, it only kills two units yeah. and I have to kill three plus also gain life plus also... <laughs> Yeah, if I had had overwhelming barrage there, um, I kill two units. Um, and do a, a bunch of damage, and then and get target out. Uh, and and yeah, yeah. So, overwhelming barrage. Uh, the funny thing is, I drew two Darth Vader's that game, and I put them down as resources. So yeah, I mean, a hundred and fifty dollars worth of resources. How many point. times does Darth Vader get to hit the table against Sabine? Right. Yeah, not often. I mean, it depends. I, I think I, your deck, if your deck is built against like really aggressive early removal, then yeah, yeah you can. But. Um, if not, then I doubt you're seeing seven resources. Yeah. And now, I'm going to be playing Iden. this uh, for a final game. I'm going to be playing this Iden Versio deck, which uh, was touted on Star Wars Database as a deck that can beat Sabine consistently. It was like 60 We'll right? see about that. We will that. see. We will see. So I'm gonna, I'll go over this. This is a deck that I did not create. This is made by Maddie on Star Wars Database. So credit where credit's due. So Iden Versio. Uh, action of an enemy was defeat this phase, heal one damage to your base. So. It's got some healing. Uh, no key forge today. We're new key forge tomorrow. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're playing Engineering Conversion Lab, which I think there's probably an argument in this deck to play the thirty health base yeah. if you're just, if you're trying to survive. But yeah. uh, I'm playing Energy Conversion Lab for this. Uh, it's got some big fatties. We got Avenger. <laughs> we got Super Laser Blast. We're trying to ramp to some Darth Vader's, and I can show off my foil uh, hyperspace Darth Vader. That's super sick. You can't quite see the foiling, but uh, this yeah. is a good pool. It's probably my best pool. Aside from the showcase, yeah, it's, honestly, it's probably it's a, monetarily it's, the same as a showcase. It's the price. It's the price of like you know eighty percent of the showcases. So. Cell block guard, you know, some sentinels, some draw craft, reinforcement walker. This card's really cool. Um, six nine for eight. One play like a top card deck. You draw that card, discard it, and heal three damage. So pretty good to heal three late game. I think. Or in the control mirror, it's drawing cards. Yeah, right. Death Trooper is pretty good. Death Trooper you can use with an energy conversion lab to fight up into like a five power thing. Uh, season Snow or Trooper. Kill two things. Yeah, Overwhelming Barrage. Obviously, we just talked about how powerful that card is. Super Laser Text for ramp into your big stuff. Power of the Dark Side for removal. Take down for removal. Resupply for ramp. Uh, Starfighter for the restore and some space threatening. Inferno Four for the card advantage. Uh, Viper Probe Droids, Snow Trooper Lieutenant, Vanquish for more removal, Rook for removal is also good with Energy Conversion Lab, Traitorous, there's only one copy of Traitorous in there, it's just kind of think, you can get some tempo plays out of it, but you probably resource it most of the time, and then Count Dooku for more removal slash body. Okay, so we'll see how this deck does. I've never played it before. So I could very well be playing, be it, playing it incorrectly. Because I think it's very, very, very easy to play a deck wrong. In this yeah. deck. I think, like we talked about a little earlier, is that you can you hand the same deck to uh, two different people, and they can play it completely differently, and they one of them could be playing it certainly very wrong. <laughs> There's a strategy that you form when you're playing a deck, the more you play it. Um, and you, once you learn the strategy, once you get more of a feel for the deck, I think you gain a lot of skill. With that deck. Yeah, especially like playing to your matchup. Right, right. I, I, matchup, matchup is so huge in this game. Yeah, just in general. The way the early units line up into each other is so interesting. All right, five for initiative. Six. All right, I gotta shuffle a little bit. Initiative. 
So because he has items, uh, items here power incentivizes your moving stuff. Right. Which I don't think Sabine wants to have all her units removed. Now it's easier to play units than to remove those units. So removal removal doesn't suck in this game, but it's not particularly good. It's usually very expensive. It's usually more expensive than the stuff that it's getting rid of. Yeah. The early drops in this game are very good. Yeah. I think I think Iden wants to like use energy conversion lab to run a super laser tech into something uh, and trade and then get a resource out of it. Yeah. So that's a good ramp turn. I think even if you don't trade with the super laser tech, getting a resource for free. You, is you could good. on five, if you have resupply and the super laser tech, you could energy conversion lab. You just like spend your early turns removing. Mm -hmm. Then on five, energy ramp. conversion lab, the the super laser tech into something. He comes in and play ready. Now you've got three untapped resources and then resupply. Now you're at seven. The following turn, you're now at eight. You got like Vader. You got yeah. the Walker. You got. Yeah. You can uh, super laser blast. Yeah. Also. So, so I think I think a lot of people, um, from what I've seen, a lot of people will just play a card as soon as it's available to play. And uh, in my experience, the the lines of play are not that easy you can't just tap out right mm -hmm. like uh you can't just you can't you can't tap out for a four drop then tap out for a five drop then tap out for a six drop and expect like the game to go your way right yeah, they, especially if you're, you're giving the opponent the first crack at responding to what you're doing yeah uh i i want to be playing my cards as, as late in the turn as i can i possibly mm -hmm. can right yeah yeah that's actually why sabine's ability is interesting you can stall you, you can you can do a little bit of stalling yeah. right so, now it's uh, is Sabine really good because of the combination of cards, or is Sabine good because she comes out on turn four and she's like the only leader that comes out on turn four? Right? Is she the only one? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody else is five or more, right? Yeah, I mean, IG88 she, has, is she five. comes out and does and threatens three damage immediately, right? Yeah, which is pretty good. She's got de decent stats, so she's not as easy to remove. Yeah, I do like that force choke can remove her instantly. Yeah, uh, as soon as she comes out, that's pretty handy. Because you can play like fifth brother on turn four and have a resource open for force choke. Oh god, it's not the the cost of this hand is too damn high. Yeah, that's it's a too damn high. It's easy mulligan, I think. Yeah, easy mulligan. I will keep. Yeah, I want to, like, so, like, after you play the game, like, some heroes just don't look attractive to play at all, right? Like, like Chewbacca? Yeah. No, so Chewbacca, I think, is actually interesting in the Sabine, because you okay. can yeah. you can jam down the 2-4 shield guy. Um, the problem with that is I don't actually know How do you win the game good. after you? Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, so you do that on turn three, now what? Right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but I think there's probably viable builds for all the heroes, I, and it, I want to explore as much of that as I can. It's insane to me that Chewbacca comes out on turn seven. Seven? Yeah, he, you need seven That's resources forever. to put Chewbacca into play. That's so long. Yeah. <laughs> That's forever, dude. Yeah. Chirrut is five, right? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, and he, he, he's making like an immediate impact type of thing. All right. All right, initiative, I'll play this short trooper. I'm going to play the green squadron A-wing. I'll take initiative. Um, now, do you actually do damage with Sabine? Right? Um, I guess so. I, I guess I'm do, a damage yeah. up, right? I do. Yeah. Um, you don't get the item this turn. Um, okay. Uh... Next turn. Have a first constructed head. Four of eight Sabines. Jeez. You guys, yeah, you're going to get your, uh, <laughs> you get your people We're gonna get control. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's, the prob that's the problem with constructed CCGs. <laughs> Nobody can think for themselves. <laughs> that's the problem with them. Everybody's, everybody's just trying to, everybody's just trying to go net deck, whatever the best deck is. All right, we are going to Energy Conversion Lab and play. Consortium Star Viper, and then fight. 
Uh, restore two because I have initiative. Unfortunately, I only have one health on my base. It is the easiest deck to put together. Yeah, you just need some rares, right? You need like a few rares, which are not that hard to get. Don't need any legendaries, right? I'm going to play Fighters for Freedom. I debated energy conversioning in lab there. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm going to attack for two. Sure. Um, There's actually an argument for, for me to take initiative there, too. So that way I don't take it. Because yeah. I actually, I think I do. I think you do. I think it. I take yeah. initiative because, um, like, tapping to do a damage there, you can heal the Aiden. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, I pass. I think I should have taken initiative there. For sure. Hmm. I think I messed up on my resource last turn, too. Woo! Oh, no. I'm bad at the game. Mm. Okay. Mm. Especially with the, the Star Viper, like, being aggressive with taking initiative with Aiden, I think is really good. I don't think I care that I, like... I'm not trying to race you. Right, right. right. Like, you're trying, you're trying to get to the point... You're trying to play one card to make me go, okay, you win. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Like, that's what you're trying to get to. Um, okay. I, I wish we could draw K2 in this deck. I know. I, I wish we could draw K2. We haven't uh, you should, you, right now, you should be witnessing me uh, putting my little marker on Energy Conversion Lab. K2 just goes, kills this guy, um, and I go about the rest of my turn. Yep. And Justin goes, man, that's really a bummer. Yeah, like, that sucks. Like, like wow, I wish, I wish that didn't happen to me. <laughs> Um. Okay, I'm gonna have fighters for freedom. Actually, fight the short trooper. Um, because I don't want to get snow troopered. I don't. There's a lot of things I don't want to happen. Hmm. Let me play the super laser attack. One open, huh? Okay, so you haven't killed any of my stuff. Um, that deck's one drops are non-existent. That's correct. I don't think it has any. I'm gonna play another Fighters for Freedom, and I'm gonna do a damage to you. Tiger base for three. Okay. I. I am going to Sabine here. I'm going to take initiative. Sure. I'm going to deploy Sabine using the epic action. And then Sabine's going to attack for three. Um, and then I think I just go ahead and metal ceremony. I was scared of metal ceremony here. Yeah. Um, I debated energy conversioning lab because I get the metal ceremony here because you can still trade. And yeah. Actually, no. This guy's a, no. This guy doesn't get traded into. No. Yeah. Now no, that stops him from being traded, yeah. which was what I wanted to be doing with the super laser tech. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's that. We still got energy. I can draw. I can still draw something good with energy conversion lab. Ah. This game is malarkey. Oh boy. The the decisions are very difficult. <laughs> You're trying to figure out how not to die, right? Yeah. Or to minimize my issues. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I play this takedown. So defeating him with five or less remaining HP, I'm going to take this guy out. Okay. Mm He's too scary. Especially when you can play a red card and do two damage to me. Um, <coughs> do I get my guy sideways? Really like... I think I just try to get as much damage as I can in. I'll play other Sabine and do a damage to you with Fighters for Freedom. I'm gonna fight this guy. Becomes a resource readies. 
Okay, he's gonna attack you for three. Uh, attack your base for three and heal two. I'm gonna play red three. I'm gonna play Viper Probe Droid. Look at your hand. What do you got there? It's battlefield Burning. Okay. What does Aiden do? Okay. Um, Sabine's gonna attack your base for two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now. Taking the initiative. That's the decision, right? Yeah. So I could heal with Aiden. Mm hmm. Then you'd probably take the initiative. Then I could deploy Aiden. And fight something, yep. And fight something, which does seem worth not having the initiative. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal the damage. Alright, I'm taking the initiative. Give this to me. You got it. I'm deploying Aiden. She is shielded. And she is gonna need to kill something. I think she attacks Sabine here. Okay. When an enemy is defeated, heal one damage for your base. I will do that. I would love to. Okay, I'm done. Stop. <laughs> Stop right there. Hmm. All right, so I'm actually not going to put any resources down. I don't... You know I am. Okay. You are firsties. Um, heroic sacrifice on fighters for freedom. So, um, the damage is gonna trade off because okay. you'll my guys will be defeated and you'll take one from this. It's all heal one, take one. Yeah, in theory, I think you would if this were lethal here, you would die, right? Because I would do three, four, five, six, seven damage to you, and that would kill you before he was defeated, mm. and you would you would uh, spill over and I die. I see, I see. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I think a timing issue. If you issue. attack my base for lethal there, it would be lethal. Yeah. Okay. So um, heroic sacrifice. So three, four, five, six, seven damage, um, and I draw a card. Into my base? Yeah. Okay. Seven damage in your base, Ooh. and then this guy explodes, and you heal for one. Okay. Ooh -wee. I was actually hoping to hit uh, K two there if you if you could believe it. <laughs> I think I fight red three. Okay, and then heal one. You're at seven resources. I'm at seven resources. Um, I will attack your base for one, two, three, four. Yikes. Um, I'm gonna attack Sabine. Okay. Three. So she's got three hit points on her. All right, so this is where Energy Conversion Lab, the Echo Base Defender, into Aiden. Um, The Count Dooku. Oh, finish off. Sabine. He is shielded. Play this. Take initiative. You are going to take initiative. Uh, Aiden is tapped for uh, oh, what yeah, it's yeah. worth. That is, that is important, actually. Um, I didn't know that the after your leader is defeated, it comes, it comes back tapped. Yeah. I didn't know that yeah. until yesterday. Yeah. We can just put this on here to show that both of these have been used, yeah. just to let... They've been deployed. Um, okay, I think I'm losing the game from this point, but yeah, I'll take initiative. I'll pass. Okay, it's your initiative. I'm gonna do one to each of us. Uh oh.
All right, I'll tiger for five. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna play Rook. You're like red Iden two, you get Force Choke, Open Fire, Imperial Interceptor, and Death Star Stormtrooper. Yeah, right. And like Fifth Brother and stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can, can play play on curve. Yeah. The green is like more focused on ramping to big stuff. So you have three. Yep. Three. You could make me sack one. I'm gonna play. Spec for soldier. I'm gonna play Death Trooper. Oh, this is shielded too. Uh, death, it'll do damage to himself. I'm gonna play red three. I'm gonna heal one. I think I have to heal one. Take an initiative. Yeah, I kind of wanted to take initiative there, but I gotta heal. All right, I'll pass. Ooh. No, <laughs> no. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> I could draw something. No, I can't draw something. All right, heroic sacrifice, red three. Crack in there for five. You got Two, it. three, four, five, draw. Oh, boy. Ooh. Good game. I got an Avenger, and so like, like Avenger would have been sick mm, there yeah, if I could have yeah. played that first, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I had to take the initiative. And the walker. Yeah. Um. I had to, you, you deployed out the stuff to try to kill me, but yeah. I, it was one of those where I could once, like, once, so I was having to play around the removal. Um, so if I, I had, instead of playing the Death Trooper to kill this guy, you play Red 3, if I had taken initiative there, right? You, take, you play Red 3, you have these two units on the board. I don't heal. Don't heal. You still die to I'm Heroic I'm at 21. Sacrifice. I still die to Heroic Sacrifice, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting game. Uh, man. Ooh. The game's really good. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's good. like games like that that you can like reexamine every. Because you're like you're like, you're like over the course of the yeah. Game. You have to you have to go, go enter your mind palace, right. And you like look at your resources and stuff like that. So, so. I resourced the snow trooper lieutenant early on, mm. and I think at some point I could have used the snow trooper lieutenant to trade up into one of your saboteur guys. Mm. Um, and I didn't get the opportunity to do that, so that was mm. not great. Right? Oh man. The lessons learned. I it's like I just want to yeah. play more Star Wars, right? Yeah. After you play it a bunch, it's yeah. Because you're like you're said, so to it. Yeah, yeah. It does, I mean, yeah, and it encourages the best of three. So like, uh, there's a lot, and right, we were just playing one match with all these decks. Oh, and correct, correct. There's yeah. certainly a lot of things you can side in to give you yeah. a better chance against the beam. Right. So. And honestly, I like if you know you're playing in the Iden, right? That's where like that U wing reinforcement, right? So yeah, U wing's you, so really you, good you, against Iden. You uh, that where where I was like kind of like gassed or something like that. If I just go U wing reinforcement, here's a pile of guys. Yeah, here's two. You can even get spec force uh, agent with it and stuff like that. So we uh, we will probably be doing. We'll do some like actual best of three matchups on stream at some point too. Yeah, I think we want to try to like explore as many decks as we can because I want I want to know like how does each hero play. Yeah, so I, I think it's worth. It's probably worth us um, using Sabine as a gatekeeper yeah. for deck. It's like right? it's like the Gauntlet deck. It's a good it's a good deck where it's just kind of like how do you do against Sabine? Yeah, how, even not even not like winning. How did you do against it? What could right. you have done differently? What do you need to decide? What, what a couple cards? It? What card differences? What give helps? You a chance, what helps your chances? You know? Yeah. What what ups your percentage? I, I by think 5%. I think some like. Uh, because you actually do see a really small portion of your deck, right? I mean, you see like uh, you, you get six, fifteen so cards. It's twenty. It's six cards plus two for each turn that elapses, right? And Sabine likes to get to about turn six. Yeah, right, Maybe. right, right, right. So she so can kill on turn five. Either. Um, so that is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So you're only seeing like a quarter of your deck. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll get third of your deck maybe um, for next time. Like I said, if you guys uh, have any suggestions for like deck lists and stuff, um, yeah. So uh, throw the, them in the Discord. The green we can the, throw it together. We got all the cards. And the, stuff, yellow, so. the yellow, the <coughs> yellow, green uh, game plan is similar to Tarkin. Boba Fett is a little bit more reactive, right? Because you have to like kill something off. So you you play Boba with an energy conversion lab. Um, I actually and, have not played with the Boba 
unit at all. I've not I've not played against him. I've not played with him, but he seems I, really good. <laughs> the unit or the leader? I've not played against either. Okay, so the leader the leader's either. stats are he's got the best stats because he's a four seven that comes out on resource five. Oh, that's crazy. So he's just he's got the best stats out of any of the leaders. Mm -hmm. Um uh, he he doesn't die to like any removal, right? Doesn't he, die to take down. Doesn't die to like force choke. Yeah. Doesn't die to van vanquish because that's right. only non-leader units. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, the the only way you can get him is a uh, power of the dark side, and I think I did that in limited against somebody who who Boba. It was by himself. Yeah. I feel like if you're playing, if you're deploying Boba against a blue villain deck that has three resources open, you're asking for you're it. Asking for you're it. asking yeah. for it. You should know what you're getting into. Yeah. yeah. Um, that, that's the thing about the blue, the blue villain deck is that it's, I like, I like that all of the removal is circumstantial one way or another, right? Yeah, and there's no, you can play around it. there's no ravenous chupacabra here, right? I was thinking to myself that this game could use a couple more necrotals. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. You, you, like, I, I think you, I, I think that that'll be the natural progression of like right. what the best units are going to be is when they're coming. Cause like the, uh, the star fighter that comes into play does three damage to something else in space. That's another I, one that's like really good. Iden's shield can't be like undervalued. Yeah. Like the shield. Like, Four, the shield four, is really good. For six uh, is kind of a problem. Is, is not great, like you said, but shielded does make it very good. And she's usually attacking a killing unit and healing one. Yeah. So I can see why she's six cost, for yeah. sure. But, like, compared to... Because, uh, like, Dooku, I feel like his stats are not amazing because he's a six-four shielded. Yeah, but he but can he be... But play and kill something. He can be a two-for-one, which yeah. is crazy. So. I did have to kind of two-for-two two that one with the, uh, with the Viper droid to, right, get, right, to get that right. damage in or to get yeah. that kill, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it, ideally, I think if you, I would want to, I wanted to have been able to like kill like Red Three with him, instead of having to trade up into Sabine. Yeah. So yeah. All right. There's your Star Wars stream. Yeah. For today, we'll yeah. probably do Star Wars again Wednesday. Right. Um, there's so much to explore in the game so much right to now. Explore. It's, that's it's the ridiculous. that's the thing about it right now is just there's uh. So many deck options. It's also making Thrawn work. You were talking about wanting to make Mono Yellow Thrawn, right? Yeah, I wanted to. So that was in the early days. That's before I <laughs> that's knew. Way better. back when. That's, we'll we'll that's, certainly try Thrawn. So um, I I don't hate I don't hate Thrawn, right? Uh, Thrawn is interesting. Um, yeah, it's sure, Joker again. Thrawn might uh be a good blue candidate. Yellow blue. Yellow blue. Um. The thing about yellow is that it gives you really awesome uh, Events. one drops. One drops. Oh, okay. Greedo is awesome. Hmm. Greedo is a three power. And with Thrawn, you know whether you can get the two damage from Greedo oh, or not. True, yeah, right? true. Um, and so uh, that's huge. Um, ISB Agent is also a really awesome one drop. Now, if everybody wasn't playing Sabine, ISB agent would be so sick, right? The, but it's, it's the problem that the units and Sabine trade into it so easily. So, well, without Tarkin, okay. Without Tarkin. Uh, so with with Tarkin, you can ISB agent on one, do a damage to their unit, and then buff the ISB agent, and he's now a two four. Um, and so they have to, they can like, they can like. Ec energy conversion lab echo base defender into him and which, which is point, like at a one drop and they've, we, used, and they've used their base it, which is like fine, fine. yeah great that's fine yeah. if they want to do that so be it mm -hmm. you know um so yeah the, that's that's not and if they don't you get to buff isb agent the that turn and now he's at three five yeah. and if you get two units off the isb agent you're in really good shape. Interesting. Okay. The game, um, the the game that I uh, I played against uh, Sabine um, yesterday. Uh, it was after he finished two owing me in the tournament. I uh, we were playing the the we were because the games were so fast. We were waiting for the the round to end. We played a game, and I got ISB agent turn one, and he just took it to the dome. Yeah. Um. The uh, uh, <laughs> that's one good thing about about uh, Tarkin, right? Is because. Any guy sitting on the table. Any unit. So especially, that's, you, especially like back-to-back -back turns yeah. getting multiple experience tokens. Yeah, so like to, me, to me, Tarkin feels like uh, if, if we've got a paper, rock, scissors matchup developing in the game, uh, Tarkin is like the solution. He's like the mid-range deck that will just stomp on control decks. Yeah. Because it's like, here is a two-drop, and in a couple of turns, this two-drop is like six power... 
um, and is threatening to And then not just... to mention, uh, I think you stomp on aggro with, if you hit Ultra Rolling Barrage. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Non Sabine aggro, right? Like, that's the, the thing. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll, be doing, we'll be doing Keyforge tomorrow. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll be doing Keyforge tomorrow. Don't um, worry. Yeah. We have not sidelined Keyforge. Um, it's just, there's a lot of Star Wars to play, and, uh, and, and I still want to play more. Yeah. Right. That's the thing is, yeah. like, I, I get done playing a bunch of constructed games. And, and I'm your, left, your mind is opened. Yeah, and I'm left thinking, I want to play more. Yeah, because like even after this so. stream, I think we learned a lot about the Sabine matchup. We learned about a lot about other how decks, other decks. Yeah. I, I really like this Iden deck. Actually, I think I would change some things. I think I might play a thirty held base. Yeah, I, think I, I can might see play that a thirty held base. I mean, Energy Conversion Lab is good, but I would oh. win that game <laughs> if I had thirty held. Yeah, so the the energy conversion lab was extremely important with the Viper. Yes, because that's true. It got you to full, and it took out um, this thing here. That's true. Right? And it, gets, it so, lets you heal extra one with this. Like it lets you get the kill yeah. to heal one with Ida. Yeah. So yeah. it's tough. Yeah, I would have to try both. Right. Store champs. I think oh, we. Nice. I think we actually have store champs. Congrats. Uh, there's, there's store champs for Keyforge at our local store next week. Okay, I'll try. Um, and it's that. after the Star Wars. Oh, we, oh I, I, okay. I, see, I, I, I put my thumb That's on the schedule. I, I was like, uh, we're gonna we're gonna schedule the store champs for like five or six. So that way, the the Star Wars draft can be done. It's like the Star Wars draft into Keyforge, and the it's, it's sealed. Okay. So perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Great. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a genius. What can You're I say? You're a genius. All right. What thanks for I watching, say? everybody. Appreciate everybody um, hanging out tonight. Like I appreciate said, the subs, Joker. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so ten gift subs is really generous. We appreciate that. So we'll be back tomorrow with Keyforge. And I'll probably more Star Wars on Wednesday. So, yeah. There you go. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great uh, the rest. Yeah, of your may Sunday. the force be with you, Dave. May the force be with all of you. Goodbye. Uh, hold on. Okay. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.